Tell you what, I love my dogs, but we're not really on speaking terms right now. It's very hot and I go to reach for my hat. And what do I find? They've chewed up my Kubra. Very annoyed. So, I've gone back to the old Mark 1 slouch hat. She's a bit wavy, got a bit of character, but I uh, transplanted the headband from the, uh, the Akubra back onto the old slouch. So, we're in business. So let's talk about twist rates. Um, had a few strange questions that I didn't think I was gonna be asked recently about um, twist rates. Well, not necessarily twist rates, but how to tell the difference between a slug liner and a pellet liner. Now, um, your if you buy an FX from the factory, it should come from the factory with pellet liner A in it, unless you specify otherwise. So that's probably a good place to start with your assumption. Um, but as we go through this video today, I'm also going to talk about um, twist rates, how to measure them, um, and how to tell the difference between your slug liners and your um, and your pellet liners by measuring the twist rate. If say say you have two of them in your gun safe or whatever, and they get mixed up, you don't label them or you forget which ones in your gun, uh, you'll be able to measure your twist rate and find out that way. So I'll show you how to do that and we will have a quick chat about um, what you should be putting into your ballistic app for your uh, twist rate if for whatever reason you can't figure it out by measuring it. So yes, let's go measure some twist rates. So the format that a twist rate is recorded in um, looks like this. Um, the first number um, is usually a one uh, I can I don't think I've ever seen anybody record twist rates in anything other than inches and anything other than uh, single twist per uh, inches of barrel length so the first one the one means one twist then the second number is going to mean uh, however many inches it takes for that one line of rifling to go all the way around the barrel so that's basically what you're looking for and with the Smooth Twist X liner, you can see, hopefully, I'm gonna zoom in on my face. Um, you can see the rifling from the outside of the uh, liner. So basically what I'm gonna do is use a permanent marker, which is one of these bad boys. I don't know what you call them wherever you're from, but Nico pen, permanent marker, whiteboard marker, whatever you wanna do. And I'm just gonna pop it in the divot of the rifling and put one constant black line of uh, marker pen down along one of the divots uh, of, the, of the rifling of the um, liner. And then what we'll do is we'll look down the liner, down the length of the liner and measure, we'll, we'll see the uh, black line will curve uh, out of sight around the bottom of the liner, then it will curve back up over the top of the liner and we're just going to measure the distance between those two points and that will give us one turn and we'll measure that in inches and that will give us our one turn per however many inches. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see the, the line going down there, rolling across all the way back up again. We are just going to look at where it starts, which is here. Follow it down until it comes back up again, which is here, right about in the middle there. Look straight down the length of it. Mark your place where it, where it meets, which is there at the end of my fingernail. Pop our measuring tape on that point on the inches side, not the centimetre side, for ease of use. And there we go. We can see that the Twist rate for the pellet, uh, the, this is slug liner A by the way, 25 caliber slug liner A, and I've got uh, one twist in 20.5 inches. So there you have it. Once you're done measuring your twist rate, uh, just grab a can of brake cleaner or something similar, WD-40 should probably work as well. Uh, give the liner a quick spray and wipe and um, it'll remove that black line for you. 
If you don't want to put a black line on there, you can also uh, just pop a little bit of masking tape over where the rifling starts. Put your thumb in the rifling dent and then follow it all the way down the liner until it comes all the way back around and then pop another piece of masking tape on there. Mark the masking tape with your uh, pen and then measure between those two distances to get your uh, twist rate. Uh, you may end up um, not being able to measure one full twist if you have a short liner um, with a very slow twist rate. For example, I believe pellet liner A is going to be like 1 in 30. So uh, if you have a, a liner that's less than 30 inches long, you might have to measure like only half of it. So um, mark where it starts, follow your, follow your rifling all the way around till it's halfway around, and then just, um, just double that number and you'll get your, uh, your ratio of one twist as to however many inches of barrel. <laughs> so what should you be putting into your ballistic app? Um, obviously if you can measure your twist rate um, just put that measurement in there uh, wherever it is that you put it in your particular app. I like to use Strelok Pro, um, does everything I want it to do, has um, weird ballistic coefficients for pellets, love that. Love you, Boris. You're a legend. Um, and yeah, for for most smooth twist liners, the it's it's either pretty easy to measure the, the actual twist rate, or um, just go online and find the find the um, little table. I will try and find it and link it in the description below. Um, but if you are running a smooth twist original, an original smooth twist. Um, for example, I have a 30 caliber smooth twist original barrel for my impact. Um, if I wanted to figure out the twist rate for that, uh, even if I could pull that particular liner out, which I can't, um, only the end of it's rifled. So I would suggest um, to anybody who is looking to figure out the twist of a, an original smooth twist barrel, maybe just start with one in 30 and put that into your ballistic app and then uh, if, if it does if it if it's shooting off correct it basically so knock five inches off it put five inches on it and then keep playing with it until it actually until your data actually matches um, what's happening downrange sort of an old school way of doing things but uh, that, that's one way that you can you can tap into the the old school mindset and just go out there Try something, test it. If it doesn't work, change it. If it makes it worse, go back the other way and uh, try it again until it works. But uh, yeah, my suggestion would be start somewhere between because as we just saw, the um, Smooth Twist X slug liner has quite a fast twist for, um, for, a, for a pellet gun. So being that uh, normal pellet, uh, the normal pellet liner is a one in 30 and the slug liner is a little bit faster twist to uh, stabilize those longer rounds a little bit more. Uh, I would think that an original smooth twist would be quite slow, especially being that only half, like the end piece of the barrel is actually rifled. So start with one in 30, see what happens from there. That's my advice. So that's it for this video. I'm gonna keep it nice and short. Um, I am going to try shooting pellets through my slug liner today, but I'll put that in a different video so that this kind of just stands alone as a video that can answer that particular question. So if you liked the video, tickle me in the like button. And uh, if you didn't, suck it, sit on it, spin around, vomit a bit. Uh, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.